Okay, we're back. Um, so the second uh, second thing that uh, this grid has been set up for, uh, one of my least favorite things, uh, I want to say law of attraction. It's great when you're doing it right. It's not so great when you're uh, not. So I think that um, as we work on ourselves and we, uh, you know, at some point everybody stumbles across the manifestation law of attraction type concepts where um, what we believe, what we focus on um, will come come our way and the goods and the bads of that. Okay, so if you are um, driving down the road and you uh, focus on uh, Gosh, I don't want to get an accident. I don't want to get an accident. I just got this new car. I don't want to get an accident. I don't want to get... Chances are somebody's going to hit you if you keep projecting it out there. Um, as you're increasing the odds of that occurring. And so um, that is something that uh, we're projecting out constantly, all these thoughts. And when you're in the process of working on yourself, um, the inner dialogue is probably one of the biggest challenges. Uh, it's something that people early on learn that they have to start turning off. They have to get to where they are in control of their thoughts and um, try and silence that uh, internal dialogue so that they can start being healthier and so that they can have get a handle on uh, being more intentional about where they want their life to go. And so getting a handle on um, those thoughts uh, is is one aspect of this, um, but that's the individual's job. Uh, what the grid's job to do is is to dampen uh, and you know as much as possible prevent uh, that negative talk from manifesting into something that's not in our higher good, uh, that's not uh, not in our uh, set for our higher self's intention for where it wants to go. So uh, because we are creators. And we do have the ability to manifest this stuff, um, but we're kind of uh, monsters, uh, monsters with power, and we we don't really understand it. And we do have the ability to kind of whirlwind ourselves into a terrible existence, in some cases with this type of technology. So, um, what the grid is doing is it is uh, dampening that. It's going to take that, and um, kind of it's going to feed it back in a loop back to the higher self to kind of do a verification. Uh, is this really what you want? And the higher self says, no, no, no. This is totally not alignment. That's what I'm trying to do. Um, so it will dampen it. And um, there's plenty of times where I knew um, what I was thinking should have probably played out differently. Uh, just historically, I, I've seen that happen enough where my thoughts would end up generating something. Um, and that uh, there is a definite relief in knowing that that's there, um, that I can make mistakes without being, uh, without ending up in real trouble, uh, knowing that there's that uh, kind of safety net that's running in the background now makes me feel a lot better, uh, knowing that I can make a mistake, I can trip up, I can have a negative thought and not have it um, manifest immediately into, into my existence, um, causing problems for me. So um, that is one of the programs that's running in the grid. I think one of the best ones um, is that dampener um, for manifestation and that loop back to uh, verify, and a verification back to the higher self. Um, it makes the process, uh, it's not that it's taking out the accountability, it is just making it so uh, we have, uh, there's more compassion for our mistakes in this process in this growing process. Uh, we're trying to learn, we're trying to grow, um, and rather have it be chaos um, and frustration. Um, we're kind of uh, being treated more like children, are able to make mistakes. There's more forgiveness for those mistakes, and um, we are less likely to uh, shoot ourselves in the foot as we go along in our, um, in our efforts to improve ourselves. So, that is uh, probably the second, I think, most important aspect of the grid. And uh, so it's 
one of the things that's programmed in. And uh, so that's one of the things I want to mention.